What's going on guys? Today I'm going to talk about my two VanQuest EDC pouches. This is the VanQuest EDCM Slim 2.0 and this is the PPM Slim 2.0. Both of these pouches reside in my EDC backpack, VanQuest Addict 25, and they both serve two distinct purposes. Um, I use the VanQuest Prepper color code. This isn't the actual tag, but uh, I use a color code to differentiate what they are. So this is first aid. Also it's red, this is red. And then this is tools tactical, first aid and fire. And I also have them, these Velcro ties here so I can use them as well if I need to. So before I get into uh, what's inside of these, um, let me go over some specs. So this is, there's two, lineups. There's the EDCM and the PPM. PPM is a personal pocket maximizer lineup and within both there's three sizes, slim, husky, and huge. So this is the slim which is the smallest size and this is uh, six and a half inches tall, four and a half or four and a quarter inches uh, wide and uh, three quarters of an inch deep and this is the EDCM slim so it's the smallest in the EDCM lineup which is um, EDC maximizer and this is eight inches tall six inches across and an inch and a quarter deep so um, I've tr like tried some of the other sizes. like I had a, the biggest size in the entire lineup which was the EDCM huge which was one of the um, these are both clamshell that one and the husky are both kind of like normal clamshell on the left and the right is like a horizontal so it was kind of this way and then the only difference between the huge and husky, the huge has a zippered pouch underneath it. Um, but it was, it was too big, and since it's clamshell, it's kind of like a deep dish, so it would still be really thick even with nothing in it. So these are more more slim. Um, prices: this is about forty dollars on Amazon, and this is about twenty six. It's about the same. You buy it on Amazon versus Vanquish.com because you have the factor in the shipping. Uh, might be slightly cheaper because you can get a 5% off discount on VanQuest, but um, Amazon also has prime shipping. Uh, but if you do buy it directly from VanQuest, um, it's not super super slow or anything. They have pretty fast shipping. And they also get, you get automatic warranty registration. If you don't, if you buy from Amazon, you have to manually get it registered. Um, I mean, if you can't tell already, I'm a pretty big VanQuest fanboy. I really like all of their gear. They have excellent products, excellent quality, top-notch customer service, and I haven't been disappointed with any of their stuff. Um, I have both of these. I have backpack, I have dendrite, I have, I've had the pocket quiver, um, I have a sticky panel for the backpack, and I've talked to all the dudes on the phone, and they're all really cool over there at VanQuest. Um, so, just know like this is very very good quality i first tried maxpedition pouches and they probably used to be good but recently they've definitely taken a dip in quality um the first time i tried a maxpedition pouch i got i think the fatty and it had those elastic loops which like it had like these style where um they'd be like like one on top of the other right but the stitching literally went through so you actually couldn't access um the loops beneath it like they didn't it was like almost like as if they were just for show so yeah the quality is terrible so i just tried vanquist out and haven't looked back i tried max Fishing again like a couple weeks ago last week still garbage quality so yeah that's just my two cents on that um and yeah, like all this stuff, like these are the materials for the each pouch. They're 1000D Cordura and they're Teflon coated, so it's water resistant. Number eight YKK zippers and 550 cord pulls. All of them have reverse zippers except for the Slim. The Slim, the first iteration had reverse zippers, but they were getting caught. And it was hard to zip, so they made them normal zippers, which is fine. They work just as well. These ones will probably keep out maybe water a little bit better, or not get damaged as easily. Um, and then the interior is 210D rips up nylon and 
obviously they have the really good high vis interior. So I'm gonna get into what this one is first and what's in here. This is again it goes to my EDC backpack. It has some big zip ties in the back. Um, all the pouches have the Molly webbing. Um, and then the front here, we have the hook and the seal, and they have a Velcro pouch. I just have nitro gloves in there. And the zippers are also lockable too on all of the pouches. So, uh, the layout for almost all of them, they have, it comes with one of those key keeper things, which I don't have here. I took it off. Um, but I usually take those off because I don't use them. And uh, they have these 550 loops. So you can attach them to there, attach other stuff. So I have a six foot uh, measuring tape. And then I have a work sharp guide to feel sharpener, which I keep in a plastic bag. So uh, the strop doesn't dry out and also doesn't like get the compound everywhere in here. And I don't have to worry about flipping the abrasion or the abrasive diamond uh, stones inside out so they don't scratch anything. Plus I have an extra plastic bag to use it. Um, I'll put all this stuff in here. So then in the back here, I have nothing else. Uh, Leatherman Wave and then Bit Kit. I have these little, a little compressed towels. So you just add water to it, it comes a little towel. Got some earplugs. Then here I have the utility blades and some match strikers for these stormproof matches I have here. And then mini bic, a cotton ball, another cotton ball and compressed towel here. Double A battery, triple A battery, nail clippers, um, duct tape, hand sanitizer with some rubber bands around it. Uh, so we have extra bands, plus it helps it from slipping around. This is the Lumintop EDC 05C, which is a really cool light. It has a front emitter and a side emitter, kind of diffuser light, um, with cool white and neutral white. Uh, magnetic tail cap as well. This runs on 14500s only. Um, the ED 05C, or uh, EDC... I don't know, I forgot, it's a very similar name, but it can take alkaline batteries as well. A little harder to find, but um, the runtime is also a little different. So you have that here. And what I don't like about this light is actually, I don't like outside charging ports because they can get water in them. And the rubber thing can come out, which I don't like. Um, these, some Q-tips and toothpicks. Here I have an s beaner with uh, some zip ties, small zip ties attached to it. This is, uh, I learned this from Nick Shabazz. This is a really good way of storing zip ties. Um, I have those on here so they don't slip to the bottom. Basically what you do is you put one through, you cut off the end, and then you just slide them on. And then you can pull it off whenever you want. Uh, let's see. And I have a big pen and a pencil. Tiny, tiny boo-boo kit, just band-aid, alcohol prep pad, lactase, and cheap utility knife, and then little moleskin volant, extra small with the 20 bucks cash in the back. So that is what I have in here. Basically, I just store extra stuff that doesn't go in too, like, the admin pocket in my backpack or other pockets. Originally, I wanted to put my Leatherman Wave in the admin area, but it didn't fit well, and it also makes the backpack very top-heavy, so this helps redistribute the weight of some heavier items. Okay. Next, I have the first aid kit. It's not a trauma kit. It's kind of like a really big boo-boo kit. Uh, some zip ties in the back, and then nitro gloves here. Same thing, hook and loop field, molly webbing. Um, so I have some tweezers, elastic bandage. This one has one loop here. Originally it had an actually attached like little strip with a key keeper. I cut that off because I think it was a waste of space. I don't use it. Um, some medical tape. This is just a bunch of gauze pads 
cotton ball, lactate, scissors on the cotton ball, some pills. Then I got band-aids and medicine and safety pins, some moleskin. Um, pretty, you know, not the best kit, not super knowledgeable in first aid stuff yet. But yeah, it's just what I have there. So those are the two pouches. And um, yeah, I think these are both really good sizes for EDC. Um, however, I will give some suggestions what I would like what to be changed on these for future iterations. Um, so they're pretty good, but I would say I have the most suggestion for this one. This is a good size for EDC, however, if you look at the slots here, it doesn't really have room for a full size knife or multi tool, right? So, like, if I wanted to put like the Leatherman signal, right? This is big enough here, but you know, once you put it in, it doesn't have a a strap wide enough to, um, you know, keep the whole thing there. Uh, that's why you can hear you saw it had a shroud wide enough for it. So like in the EDCM or the PPM Husky, the next size up, it has those wider straps, which are good. But on this at this size, I think maybe it would be better if they just had a wide strap here for that or something. Because they have enough small here, small straps. So I feel like uh, it would be in you know their best interest to do that. But um. Yeah, it was that, and then just the the key thing here, I think, is kind of a waste. I think it'd be better if they just had, like, a loop and then put the detachable one so you can choose to use it or not. Because it would just be easier for them and, you know, for the customer. Um, they do... So, what they... Their technology, their maximizing technology, is with the elastic loops, they kind of stagger the the partitions, right? So, it's, I don't know if you can really tell, but the, these elastic, they're not, first of all, they put elastic on the bottom, which uh, Max Petition, for instance, like, they don't do that. They'll just have it on the top here. But uh, in addition to doing that, they actually have, I guess they call it like a honeycomb pattern. Um, they're kind of staggered. They're not right on top of each other. So it actually has more space overall. It's, it's more efficient. Um, which is cool, and it makes it so not all the loops are uniform. So you have, like, smaller ones for smaller items like this, or larger ones. You don't have, like, just all the same size. That's cool. Um, and it definitely lets you hold more stuff. For small ones on the bottom, you can either put small stuff, or you can, you know, secure a longer item. Which I think is really cool. And on the EDCM Slim, I would prefer if they had... Uh, one more paracord loop at the top here, uh, just on this side. But yeah, and then I think the tags are really nice because you can actually store a AAA battery in there on, on the tags. So I mean, other than that, um, really, really great products. I have nothing bad to say about VanQuest, um, and I, you know, I, I would, I had a PPM Husky like. I was going to use it for something else, but I didn't really, I didn't have a use for it yet. I wanted to use it on something else, but um, I just, I, I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't think of anything to use it for right now. But I will say I chose that one over the PPM Huge because I liked the way the partitions of the elastic were. So they were like two big ones on the left instead of three, like small ones. Um, so that's just something to look, look out for when you're trying to choose which one you want. Um, like, like this is a good size, right? But the way the elastic is, you can't hold like a Leatherman. The next size up, you can hold a Leatherman. Um, it, and it's like, you know, it's slightly, just very slightly wider. Um, and the next size up from that, then you, it's kind of, the, I think the elastic is a little more weight on the size up. And then if you're looking at this series, the two sides up from this are much, much deeper because of the, like, the deep dish design. So you gotta, you know, really just look at and see what would fit you best. But, um, 
yeah, that's what I think about these pouches. I recommend them 100% if you're looking into buying it. And I'll be doing future reviews on other Vanquish products I have, like the Adex 25 and the Dendrite. So yeah, and if Vanquish, if you're watching this, if you want to sponsor me or send me stuff to review, I'll gladly do it. Um, I mean, it's been a dream of mine, I guess, for the YouTube channel. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I um, hope you enjoyed this review.